guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel now today as you're in the title you guys already know what i'm going to be talking about it's going to be a quick simple video just some quick hair tips on how to maintain your braiding hairstyle make sure that they don't get frizzy so before we jump into this make sure that you give this video a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel and also click that bell to show this video whenever i upload let's go Alright, guys. So as you can see, my hair is definitely braided. I did tell you guys in my last update. I think it was my 36 week pregnancy update that I did for you guys. You have not seen that. You guys go watch that. But I told you guys that I will be getting my hair braided up for when that day comes. Yes, because today I'm currently 37 weeks in a couple days. I don't even remember, but all we know is that Mama's full term now, and baby can come any day. So you know had to have the hair right so i wrote down the tips for you guys i wrote down the tips okay mom ring all right but other than that how are y'all doing on this lovely blessed day that god woke you up to you know you guys doing good all right you guys so the main main tips of keeping your hair together when it's braided is that you can keep it in for a couple weeks okay my tips that i use for my hair i usually i like to oil my scalp like at least two to three times a week i will oil my scalp up i will mainly use you guys already know i use olive oil but when i have the braids in i use the black castor oil yes i put it on engines i put it in between all that i usually do that two to three times a week on my hair another thing that i do like sometimes i will get a little spray bottle Put a little bit of water in it and i'll put olive oil in that and like two times throughout the week i like spray this part of the hair because you know your hair is a course in here but i'm usually spraying that hard that part of my hair just to make sure that my hair is still getting the moisture that it does need okay yes okay now i love to use my my pink the pink spray that I showed you guys in my haul, my hair haul. I like to use that as like for like soothing scalp. I'll show you guys that after. But I like to use that in between my hair. I usually put that in my hair like almost like every day. I put it on my scalp just to soothe my scalp. Like that's what it's for. Okay, it's a scalp soother. Get you some. All right, you guys. So, all right. Main, main tips, the main tips. Wrap your hair up nightly. You know, wrap it up with your scarf or use your bonnet whatever you prefer use that every single night another one is to make sure that you're moisturizing your scalp like i had just said i put oil in my scalp about two to three times a week you know do that for your scalp because your scalp needs it okay to promote hair growth remember that okay you can also just you know go through your scalp like that or whatever you know what i mean do that because you want to have your hair growth you want to also make sure that your scalp and your hair is protected so do that another one is make sure it's like you clean your scalp often like you know like i said with the water that i do with olive oil in it or use black castor oil whatever oil that you prefer to use on your hair you can add that into your water your spray bottle and just switch your hair if you want to switch your scalp too go ahead and do that but do not over spritz your scalp please guys because then your hair is going to start getting frizzy we don't want that okay we're trying to keep it in keep it style less maintenance on the hair like i had said in the hair tip video helps it okay another one don't style your hair with like too much tight hairstyles like you know we all like to have our buns and all that and stuff like that, but don't style it too tight. You know, sometimes just let your hair down. Just let it down. Okay? Put it in a little ponytail. You know what I mean? But don't style it too tightly, especially at nighttime when you're going to sleep and you put it up. Don't put your bun or your ponytail too tight at nighttime because you can end up with a headache in the morning time. You know because it could be tight or anything like that and you do not need that for your head okay all right so yeah just remember that don't style your hair too too tightly okay just to have a specific hairstyle 
like don't do it because it's going to be pulling your hair and everything tugging at your hair you do not want that um another one is to always refresh those edges refresh your edges okay what i mean all right y'all know what i mean get a toothbrush wet it with some water you know give your edges a little bit all right you guys so that is all the tips that i have today for you guys on your braided hairstyles and just how to maintain it and keep it up to part you know so before we end this video you guys already know what i'm about to say all right make sure you get a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you miss a video whenever i upload share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come watch the come watch the channel and if you guys have any content ideas that you guys would like me to do comment that down below or you guys can also write me on my social medias and just tell me different ideas to do with my kids you know different hairstyle videos that you like me like me to do you know i will be doing how i box with my hair soon i'm not the one who did my hair that my friend actually did my hair for me mom can't i can't do my hair right now i'm just like all over the place so I will see you guys soon. You know I'm going to be back. Okay, guys? And just pray for me for a healthy, safe delivery. And I will see you guys shortly, all right? So you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Wear your mask, wash your hands, do all that stuff. Thank you all for supporting me. I love you guys.